All right, fuck. All right, fuck, we lost. We lost again. Another week. At least we had a chance to win it. We <laughs> always did. I, I <laughs> we kicked the field goal. I'm okay with losing on a field goal by a rookie. Yeah, I mean, I'll live with it. You think we've only lost all three games by a collective of five points? Mm-hmm. Something like that? Fuck. So, cool. Love it. And um, you've had an opportunity to win in every single one Every of them. single one. you imagine 5-0 and oh would be awesome? But, hey, we're sitting here at 2-3. and three. Welcome. Uh, week? Six? Yeah. Week six. Fuck. Wolf. <laughs> it's flying. Yeah, it seriously is. Uh, Patriots this week. So, that's cool. Um, I'm not even going to talk shit about the Patriots. Learned my lesson last time. Yeah, of course. Last year was uh, fucking brutal. Uh, very brutal. Um, so... We'll see what happens this year. Um, all I gotta say is Mac Jones possibly is not playing. And up in the also air, possibly playing. I know it, <laughs> it's kind of like a uh, toy cost at this point. Uh, but their backup has been looking pretty good. Um, is it Zappy? I believe it's Zappy. Okay, yeah, Zappy. <laughs> um, not too bad. Not bad. So. Uh, we'll see what happens. The run games look pretty solid. Uh, Damian Harris hit, did not play last week, so I think he's pretty questionable still. Um, I think I actually have him in fantasy. I think he's doubtful currently um, from what I'm looking at. So, um, But let's circle back a little bit towards last week, and then we'll get into that. What's your thoughts on last week? Um, because if I have one takeaway is, holy crap, Austin Eckler was able to get almost 200 yards on us, um, which he's not been able to get, I think, any more than, like, 70 all season, and he, like, quadrupled it. 60. 60. 60 was his um, So, yeah, he, it was, like, one, almost, like, almost 180, I want to say. So, it was embarrassing, completely embarrassing. And, obviously, you saw uh, this week, um, Andrew Berry clearly knew that. And uh, we signed uh, Deion Jones, as well as a nose tackle, uh, Ty- Tyler Davison. Yeah. So clearly, obviously, those two guys are just run stuffers. Um, well, I mean, nose tackle. They're is, they're they're not yeah. they're not gonna fix the defense, but they're no. definitely a band aid. They're gonna help. It's yeah. We're we're putting uh, what's that um, duct tape. No, I'm thinking of a specific brand. Whatever. Um. It would have been funny. I You're forgot, basically though. using scotch tape to cover up a hole in the boat. Yeah. To stop a flood. Basically. Yeah, and Deion Jones is more or less uh, a good kind of uh, back that isn't great at stopping the run, but really good in uh, pass coverage uh, from what I... He's a great tackler. Yeah. That's so, one thing we're lacking. Arm tackles. Out the ass. Unbelievable. Like, uh, so many arm tackles, so many times where they just reach for him and you're right there i mean there's there's one major missed tackle um i saw from perry on that i mean austin Eckler ran over perry on winfrey i was like okay like i mean not like so that's what we're doing yeah that's what's happening i was like okay this is fun so i don't know um you ready for you ready for a fun fact huh so as i referenced in last week's video this is the 32nd worst uh, rushing offense in the league. And it took them four games before this previous week to rush for three, 235 yards. Four weeks. They went for 258 on the ground on Sunday. Yeah. Well, past this past Sunday. That's crazy. So they, they essentially they got made the- up the same... Um, Made up yards that took them four games and some, yeah, in one game against his Browns defense. And uh, once again, it's a problem. Um, I definitely think they did tighten up in some spots, they were really good in the red zone, which is a good thing. Um, you know, they they it, they love the, another. They, this is like this is the really crazy thing. I'm gonna sound so off. But if you go back and watch it, they were like, Ben, don't break. Like, okay, they bent a lot. Yeah. Like, they were getting beat downfield. But how is it the second week in a row where 
you're able to pin the opposing team into their into their five, and they can just roll it all the way ninety five yards down and get a touchdown. Yep. Like two weeks in a row. Yeah, it's you're on the like it was like I think it was like the five or four yard line. Well, the, how do you do the, that? The, the the crazy thing is with ease that that they held uh, Justin Herbert to one hundred and sixty six yards. And I don't even think he threw a passing touchdown. Yeah, well, Mike Williams was open all fucking day. Wait, you know what? No, Mike did, Mike Williams didn't. Yeah, Mike Williams was open all day. All day. Um, yeah, so but without Keenan Allen. Yeah, we have the, one good receiver. The, just, to, just to go back to the Ben don't break. The, you know, okay, they let him get downfield, but they did, a, they did an all right job of holding them to points, and they made stops when they needed to. But um, the missing tackles, um, you know, the lack of effort, you can see it on on, on the screen. Like, um, I, I don't – I can't really blame this one on Joe Woods. Yes – I still don't get why we're still in zone coverage and they're just running cross routes because that's all they want to do. Um, I mean, it's it's like, when are you going to, like, okay, you got the best man coverage corners possibly in the league. But I also feel like the issue is, is that, like, they're not playing, like, I feel like Joe Wood just has, like, a, a very basic package, right? And he runs it against everyone. Yeah. But it's not specialized to a team. Like why isn't that what you plan all week for? Yeah, it, it's and you don't see it though. You don't see like but they're the, doing certain things for Mike, that team. Mike, going against. Mike, it's we we've seen this it, this week. It was all I'm putting it on the players. The players were just there was no effort at all. That yeah. one that one little touchdown where the the Chargers ran that little outside run for sure, and the guy went untouched. Go, go back and watch that play. Watch Denzel Ward. Not even You talk you're talking like when they were in like the, on like the five, six yard line and Eckler ran to the right. Yes. And everyone was blocked and couldn't break a block. Denzel Ward was supposed to set the edge. So And what, he was caught up. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Really? Go back and watch it. What was he doing? So it literally looks like he's blocking the receiver. That guy, that receiver, went up to go block Delpit, and all all Denzel had to do was just go set the edge, and no, he went inside like he was following the receiver in, and like the the receiver wasn't even he just had his hand like that, and he just like it looked like he just stuck there. He wasn't getting blocked. It was like he was jamming him, and then like. He just gave up once he saw the guy break outside. I don't think I want to go back and watch that then. I, I I'm going to show you just All so right. you can see how stupid it yeah, is. Yeah, no, I've seen I've seen a few it, plays. It, 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 I could not watch that play. I watched it the three times. And I'm just like, I, I was curious at first how did it happen. Well, it, it's a lack of effort. Yes, a lot of guys are getting blocked and they can't get off blocks, which is another big problem. Jacob um, Phillips can't get off the fucking Oh, block. my. Well, it doesn't help. It doesn't help when your defensive tackles are getting blown up five yards. Yeah. Dude, it's crazy. You, you're you're literally getting knocked down by your D-tackle getting pushed into you. Yeah. Right. How, how are you supposed to get a good angle on the run? Defensive line's atrocious, and we're ranking currently 30th in the league. Uh, with the, def- defense. the defensive tackle play has been piss poor. The linebacker play has just been... Has been as just as bad. I mean, we got we got to make plays when they're given to us. When you have someone behind the line of scrimmage, okay, you might miss one tackle, but you better have four or five helmets going swarming right to the ball. Yeah, they don't, and you don't see that. No, you don't see no. it at all. You see one or two guys, and then they give it's up. It's effort. They give up after that, and you see other. You, I, I watch other teams, and they're and there are like eight people on that. It's uh, crazy. I mean, I don't understand, but it, it, it is I, honestly insane <sighs> how 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 there's no effort on this team. Yeah, and then it doesn't help that the efforts piss poor, that the coaching's piss poor. 
But to move on from the defense of the side, because this is just an yeah. ongoing trend this season. Yeah, it's going to happen every the week. The offense, once again, bright spot. Um, yeah. Not a lot of Amari, but Njoku, once again, yeah. Njoku. huge game. Yeah. Uh, Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. Amazing. You can't ask any more of them. No. Brissett, I say he made one bad play yeah. that ended up deciding the game. Yeah. And this yeah. is that the whole theme of that is you can't ask a backup quarterback to get into a shootout. Yeah. That I mean they they literally scored on almost every possession yeah. ahead. You cannot ask any more of that. And Cade York, I get it, you're a rookie. And I'm okay. I, I'm content with losing the game by him missing a field goal. Because one, but this is you 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 at least you at least gave him an opportunity to win the to win the game. Yeah, he missed one before the half ended. Yes, so I I am going to go with he his confidence was a little rocky, but he gave him a chance to redeem himself. He's going to learn from stuff like this. Yeah, it's not like Justin Tucker came in the league and was God. That's true. So I mean, it, it's gonna happen. You you just can't. You gotta stick with him. He's gonna miss field goals. He's like, the dude hit a sixty yard field goal to win the game, and we knight him God. Now the expectations are to the roof. You, that you get that when you draft a quick kicker in the fourth round, but you gotta realize where you're at. This is not kicking in a dome. You're kicking yeah. in Cleveland, where it's. There's always going to be wind in the stadium. You might You're see on the, the lake. You might see the flagpoles, not the little flags on the on a field goal post, not moving. That does not mean anything in Cleveland. That's what makes it different than any other stadium. Yeah, because we're literally. If you go watch, <laughs> if you go back and watch anything about Phil Dawson, he will tell you. They said that sometimes that the wind swirls in the stadium because of how it's built. That. The flat the flags don't move, so it's hard to calculate where to place your kicks. Mm. So you can't where every awesome. uh, everywhere else you have you have an uh, uh, an upper hand in because you know okay the wind's blowing this way by looking at the flags. Well, you got one flag going this way and one spinning around in Cleveland. <laughs> <You're> like <laughs> it's 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 hard to put that on a rookie kicker who's only. Five games in. Yeah. And, okay, it might not be windy wherever you are at in a suburb or in a city. You go to sit down in that stadium, it's a whole different ball game. Facts. Yeah. yeah big time. Agreed. So, I I am okay that it came down to that. Jacoby definitely could have ran that in. Totally could have ran Deshaun, it in. Deshaun's taking that. Jacoby, he, Amari was wide open. It just he did not see the guy over the top because he's running cross cross field and the guy sat right there and he tried to place it over the top. And you know what? You gotta live by the gun, die by the gun. Uh, and that's all I gotta say about that game. I, I'm yeah. not I'm 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 upset that we lost and it's a game we should have won. Of course. But there is it's like you can't you cannot ask for any more effort. Like Plus that, that's a that's a good Chargers team. So our offense can go neck and neck with those guys. Like that's not bad. I it's, mean, they they didn't get torched in the past game. No. It wasn't it wasn't like a massacre like we yeah. thought it was gonna yeah. be. Yeah, no, I thought it was gonna be terrible, honestly. So I, I'm happy with it. I mean, obviously I, I wish we we would have won that game, but you know, on to this week. Um that's in the past, can't fix it, so you know, looking forward now, I guess, uh, it's Patriots um, here in Cleveland. So, um, should be interesting. Um, I think the Patriots are a little bit beat up, but uh, they're also playing Tough. really good football. They came off a very strong, strong game Yeah, against the Lions. They shut them out 29-0. And they were the highest scoring offense in the league, believe it or not. Yeah, and with a backup running back, Stevenson. And with the backup quarterback. He went for, I believe he went for 161 yards on the ground. So, and, and also remember last year seems to have an awesome game against us. Yes. So, um, the Browns better bring their A game this week because this is not a New England team to sleep on. Um, they might not have as much talent, but they're always prepared to come in yeah. and give you the best game. I mean, the coaching's a And that's what you get with the greatest coach of all time. Yeah. 
Um, and he'll pick our defense apart, so yeah. get ready for that. He will. Yeah. That, Studying right now, I guarantee you. Oh, no, he's already got it wrapped up. Oh, it's yeah. Like, yeah. That, yeah. That's, that's Monday, Tuesday talk. <laughs> yeah. No, man, that was in the beginning of the season. <laughs> yeah. They got a game plan on everybody before the season even starts. You see that video of that ball that went to him and he just kicked it? Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> uh, back to it. Uh, Matt Judon looks like a tank. As usual. Um, you know, I, I think... <laughs> The, the game plan, once again, we're all done it. Key to the game is run the goddamn ball. Run the ball. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Keep scoring. Because you can't rely on your defense, so yeah. you got to score almost every drive. The offense has just got to keep it up and keep it clean. Yeah. No, I mean, they've done a good, good job of not having many penalties. Yeah. Um, on, on the offense side of the ball, at least. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Defensively, you you really got to clog up the inside of the field and win the line of scrimmage because Ramondre Stevenson is a very physical runner. He's going to bring the pain. Like if you're gonna come at him with the weak shit, he's gonna he's gonna lay you out. And you're, boy. you're gonna end up on a highlight reel. Um, and he's not. I I can't even say he's one of the better backs in the league. It's just that you cannot play against yeah. uh, physical runners the way the Browns been playing because they're going to get owned. Yeah. I mean, Eckler's a great back, but he should not be running over a defensive tackle with ease. No. Um, not at all. It's crazy. Crazy talk. You know, this there. is a, a good offensive line. Um, a very slept-on receiving core. Yeah. With Nelson Aguilar, Jacoby Myers. Myers. like Myers a lot. He, he's been tearing it up. Yeah. Um, you got Hunter Henry out there, and then uh, it's a, it's just a very slept on team, and the Browns really got to show up on Sunday. They can't expect the the defense can't expect to just go through the motions, um, yeah. or you know this is nothing but effort. Your 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 play is in question. Yeah. Um, I I don't know, man. I just. I'm having a hard time coming up with stuff for this team because it's been the same stuff every yeah. week. I, it's like we're watching the same game over and yeah. over again. And I feel like we're on repeat at this point because it's like we're talking about keys to the game. We're talking about, you know, players of the game, who to watch for. It's like I, I feel like my answer is getting repetitive. Like, Cowtail right now, I mean, it, it's for me, I mean – Obviously, I would like to say Miles Garrett and Clowney, but dude, like Denzel Ward needs to step up. That's if he even plays. He he's, went out. he's currently on the concussion protocol. Yeah, oh, and he hasn't practiced at all this week. So, Oof. but I will give a cowtail to the man that is coming off the injury reserve again. <laughs> the man himself, stay greedy with okay. Greedy Williams. Um, That's even a better one. I, I didn't realize the, they I, need some physicality, and they get it. I mean, right now, I think we've agreed on this. The Emerson has been the best corner on the team this so far this season. He's been great, real physical too. Oh yeah, yeah. I, like I mean, for a rookie, you know, you you got you gotta love it. You know, someone's actually bringing it. Yeah, dude's constantly pressuring people, throwing people out of bounds. Like, what what a play so, on the ball! Yeah, so aggressive. I love it. What a play on a ball! Yeah, Emerson been great. Down. Yeah, he's Greg been he's been a stupid ass play. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna take mine back. I didn't know the extent of that. I didn't know he wasn't playing these last couple days. Um, I guess I'm just gonna go to the other side of the ball then. I'm going to Joku. I think Joku's gonna have a massive game again. Um, I yeah. think and I think he will. I mean, he's really proving himself with that contract and uh, tight end number one. So and I think he's gonna keep proving that. So I'm really excited for him, and I think uh, I think he's gonna have another big game this week. So he needs to. I'm activating my Miles Garrett card. Um, okay, do it. He he needs a cocktail this week. Let's do it, man. Um, I mean, okay, it, it's hard. That this is your, this is the best player on this team. He needs to show up. He's the leader of your team. Um, you know, it's almost been like he's been a ghost. The last, granted, he didn't play in Atlanta, 
but it almost seemed like he was nowhere to be found last week. I get it, he's banged up. Um, it's just he's been in a real rut, it seems. Like, he can't get to the quarterback. Yeah. No, it's not necessarily his fault. You don't have much time when there's guys wide open three seconds into the play. <laughs> yeah. So right. it really takes away the point of having it's two like, bookend yeah, pass rushers. It's like Domino's fault, man. There, so it really, it's really put on him. When you get the opportunity, you got to take advantage. you got to make a play. So right. Miles Garrett, you're the man. Let's yeah. see why this week. Yeah, I guess I'm going to spin this into a, a fourth one. It's, I mean, it's got to be Nick Chubb again. It has to. Obviously. Like, Nick Chubb. Nicky obviously. Chubb! Yeah, I'm just going to designate one per week to him at, for the entire... Chubbyana. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. That's what my sister calls him. Chubbyana. Nice. Um, <laughs> let's get into some results. Um, A bad result. Uh, or predictions. Predictions, I mean. I'm sorry. Um, let's say we're talking uh, soccer. <laughs> I think... Uh, I think we need we need to win this game. I think it's a totally winnable game. I think the issue is <laughs> the issue is that I think a lot of people are going to sleep on this uh, this team, and uh, we kind of slept on them last year. And I don't want to make that mistake again, but I'm going to go Browns seventeen uh, thirteen. Um, I'm hoping for the best. I I could come in and be completely wrong and be like crap. Ugh. So. That's what I think. Uh, I'm very unsure about that, but um, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm going to go 27 24 New England. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I can't disagree with you on that. <laughs> uh, I'm just hoping it's um, close. Disgusting. Oh, well, let's just have it be goddamn close so we can lose at the last second again. Love it. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to coming back next week and say the same thing. And we got to get prepared for fucking Baltimore. Yeah, love it. <laughs> it's great. Um, um, I really hope Deion Jones plays this week because they need some kind of... They need an adult in the linebacking core. But actually. <laughs> like, a, they need a leader. No offense to Jacob Phillips, but... It's not doing the job, man. He's an outside linebacker. Yeah, we're That's what he is. Walk a lot. He's not a mic. Yeah. If no, he was a Mike, his name would be Mike Phillips. Yeah. And it's not. It ain't. They well, need somebody with the dog in them. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching again. Appreciate it. Till next week. Go, Browns. Go, Browns.